Have you ever wondered how you can tell whether your rat is stressed or unhappy? Figuring out exactly how your rat is feeling can be difficult if you don't know what to look for. In this video, we're taking a look at seven signs that your rat is feeling stressed out or unhappy. After that, we'll go over seven ways you can keep your rat stress-free and content. Let's get straight into it. The first sign that your rat is stressed is a reduced appetite or refusal to eat. If you notice that your rat is not eating or eating very little, it could be caused by stress. A refusal to eat or reduced appetite is a very common signal that something is wrong because rats are typically very good eaters. However, while a lack of appetite may be caused by stress, disease and illness can also be a cause. Because of this, it's important to visit a veterinarian if your rat is not eating so that they can take a look at it to figure out what's wrong. The second sign of stress in rats is bar chewing. If you notice that your rat suddenly started chewing on the bars of its cage, it can be because they're bored, unhappy, or stressed out. However, it can also be an indication that they have problems with their teeth. If you're sure that your rat has plenty of opportunity to grind down its teeth, then you can be fairly sure that their bar chewing is caused by boredom or stress. Aside from bar chewing, stressed or depressed rats may also show other signs of destructive behavior. If your rat is extremely stressed, they may even start chewing on their own tail, which is very worrisome behavior and warrants a visit to a veterinarian to get your rat checked out. The third sign of unhappiness and stress in rats is excessive grooming or a lack of grooming. Rats are very clean animals that groom themselves and their friends very frequently. However, if your rat grooms itself non-stop or does not groom itself at all, it's a good indication that they're feeling stressed out or unhappy. Excessive grooming is self-soothing behavior and is often shown as a response to stress. A lack of grooming, on the other hand, is a sign of unhappiness or depression because the rat does not care enough anymore to perform even basic hygiene. The fourth sign that your rat is not happy or stressed out is an excessive avoidance of social interaction. Generally speaking, rats are social animals that crave social interaction. If your rat never wants to interact, it can be an indication that there's something wrong with them. This is especially the case if your rat used to be very social and affectionate, but experienced a shift in behavior that made them more distant and standoffish. Of course, some rats are more social than others, and some might be perfectly happy and healthy while not interacting all that much. But generally speaking, excessive avoidance of social interaction is not a good sign. The fifth sign of stress is shaking or trembling. Just like humans, rats can shake or tremble in stressful situations. If you notice that your rat does this persistently, it's probably a sign that they're experiencing high levels of stress. The sixth sign that your rat is stressed out is diarrhea or a change in bowel movements. Stress can affect the digestive system and disrupt normal gut function. In response to stress, the body can release hormones that can alter the movement of the digestive system, leading to changes in bowel habits, including diarrhea. It's important to note that diarrhea and changes in bowel movements can also be a symptom of other health problems, such as an infection, parasite infestation, or dietary changes. Therefore, it is important to consult with a veterinarian if you notice any changes in your rat's bowel movements. The veterinarian can help diagnose the underlying cause and provide appropriate treatment to help improve your rat's health and well-being. The seventh sign of stress or unhappiness in rats is aggression or biting. Rats are generally friendly and social animals, but they may become aggressive or bite if they feel threatened, stressed, unhappy, or uncomfortable in their environment. Now that we've gone over the seven signs of stress, it's important to quickly go over how to avoid stress and keep your rat happy. Here are seven easy ways to keep your rat as happy as possible. Number one. Provide a comfortable and safe environment. Ensure that your rat's cage is large enough for them to move around, has a comfortable bedding material, and provides adequate ventilation. Your rat should share this environment with at least one other rat, because rats should never be kept in solitude. Ideally, your rat should have many buddies that keep it company. Number two, give them enough space and playtime. Rats are social animals and need plenty of space to play and explore. 
consider allowing them daily playtime outside of their cage. Number three, offer a balanced and nutritious diet. Rats need a balanced diet to maintain their health and happiness. Offer a variety of fresh foods and a high quality commercial rat food, vegetables, fruits, and protein. Number four, provide mental stimulation. Rats are intelligent and curious animals and enjoy exploring new things. Provide them with toys, puzzles, and hiding places to keep their minds active. A rat that has an engaging and fun cage to live in is much less likely to become unhappy than a rat that lives in a boring cage. Number five, offer regular handling and interaction. Rats enjoy human interaction and should be handled regularly to build a bond with their owner. Number six, provide a stable routine. Rats thrive on routine and consistency. Offer regular feeding and playtime at the same time each day. Number seven, seek veterinary care when necessary. If your rat is showing signs of stress or illness, seek veterinary care promptly. So there you have it, seven signs of stress and seven ways to keep your rat happy and healthy. I hope this video was informative and that it taught you something new. If you know of other signs of stress or unhappiness in rats, feel free to share them with your fellow rat owners in the comments below. I want to emphasize again that if you notice that there's something off with your rat, that it's always very important to get them checked out by a veterinarian. Some behaviors that can be attributed to stress can also be a sign of underlying health issues, so it's important to get your rat checked out. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos about rats and other pets. We upload new videos very frequently. Liking the video would also be highly appreciated because it helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again very soon.